Welcome to today's seminar. Today we talk about the potential outcomes PowerSeed functions can bring to users. This seminar will hopefully support you with arguments when building your letter of medical necessity or motivation towards a funding or reimbursement agency. We have two learning objectives. The first one is that you will be able to identify the six different power seat functions available on permeable power wheelchairs. The second learning objective is that you will learn about the potential clinical and functional outcomes power seat functions can facilitate for the users. The first function we want to talk about is the tilt function. The tilt function is probably one of the most common power seat functions used for power wheelchair users. Power tilt functions can facilitate functionality. By changing your position in space, you change your center of gravity and your base of support, creating more seated stability. A power tilt function can also increase comfort. By changing your tilt angle, you change your load on your spine, which will redistribute partially the load to the backrest. Tilting more than 15 to 20 degrees can contribute to a pressure redistribution from the ischial tuberosities to the backrest. Tilting below 15 to 20 degrees does not contribute to any pressure redistribution. Using tilt function to redistribute pressure also eliminates shear forces. We always recommend to tilt prior to using the recline function to avoid shear forces. The tilt function can also contribute to improved positioning, especially when you are having uses with severe spasticity. The tilt function allows them to independently change their position without changing anatomical angles in their joints, which prevents eliciting spasticity or increasing muscle tone. The tilt function also delivers safe postural stability, especially when driving outdoors. When users, for example, want to drive downhill, they can compensate for the angle of the incline with the tilt function. The power leg rest function can facilitate safety. It can contribute to an improved seated stability, especially when users have resi residual functionality in the lower extremities. It can also provide a more safe and stable position for driving outdoors, especially when negotiating an incline or for braking. The power leg rest function can improve your accessibility. In the shortest position, it allows for the closest approach and ADL execution. Changing the angle of your power leg wrists changes the total length of your wheelchair, meaning it also changes the total turning radius. Increasing the angle of your power leg wrist during outdoor usage improves ground clearance and provides a better access to rough terrain. As a last benefit, the power leg wrist can also be used to prevent contractures at the level of the hamstrings. But please note when doing so to also program the amplitude of the actuator according to the functional capabilities of your customer to prevent a customer ending up in posterior pelvic tilt. The third power seat function is the recline function. And even though we do not recommend isolated recline usage, due to the risk of creating shear forces, it is an excellent feature when it's combined with a tilt and a power leg rest. The recline function can support the health of the user. When the user is using the power seat functions to prevent edema, he should frequently move into a position where the legs are positioned at the level of the heart. On the other hand, if you have a user that is already having edema, the user should move into a position with the legs positioned at least 30 centimeters higher than the heart level. The combination of a recline function with tilt and power leg rest supports also to prevent the symptoms of orthostatic hypotension. The combination of tilt and recline is providing the best means to prevent pressure injuries. 
The combination of tilt and recline redistributes the pressure over the maximum of the body surface. The golden rule is to tilt 45 degrees in combination with 120 degrees of recline to have a 40% pressure redistribution from under the ITs to the backrest. The recline function also enables users to change their hip angle. Being able to change the hip angle has shown to be important to manage pain and to increase sitting tolerance. At the same time, it also improves the respiratory capabilities of users and it improves the digestive function. The combination of tilt, recline and power leg rest can facilitate users to go into a relaxed position without having the need for transfers. The combination of tilt, recline and power leg rest can also support users who can reposition themselves with the help of gravity. The next power seat function is the lift function. The lift function can facilitate transfers. It brings users into a higher position where they need less muscle force to go into a vertical or standing position. This means that users can independently execute transfers for longer or it reduces the load for the caregivers. The lift function increases the functional reach for the user. Always be mindful of that reaching should be done in a frontal plane to reduce the risk for repetitive strain injuries. Using the lift function facilitates the visual perception. Users without the lift function need to hyperextend their neck for visual contact with their speech partner. The lift function enables a conversation at peer level. There are also some psychosocial advantages. The lift function has shown from research to also support the self-esteem, self-awareness and self-confidence of power wheelchair users. The next power seat function is the anterior tilt or the active reach function. Whilst the lift function only brings you higher, the active reach function brings you higher and closer to the objects you want to reach for. This facilitates reach into the frontal plane. The active reach also helps you to facilitate your transfer. The active reach and especially the combination of active reach with the lift function brings you in a transfer ready position where you don't need to move yourself to the front part of the seat. While using the active reach, the recline function and the power leg rest automatically synchronizes. This opens also your hip angle, facilitating the respiratory and digestive function and improving sit and tolerance. The active reach also improves posture. It facilitates pelvic symmetry and it facilitates a spinal extension since you are moving the pelvis in a more neutral or slightly anteriorly tilted position. Just as a lift function, the active reach function facilitates communication with peers. It brings you at peer level, but it brings you also closer to your speech partner. And at the same time, with an improved respiratory function, the vital capacity for communication has been improved. As a last function, there is the standing function. The first area where standing can support health is bone mineral density. It has to be specified per diagnose, but especially in young users, standing exercises can contribute to improve bone health. In some other groups, standing exercises can influence the severity of bone loss. Standing has shown to be effective to reduce the level of spasticity and to reduce the risk of contractures. Research has shown that standing can be effective in supporting the cardiovascular function by reducing the risk for edema and chronic venous insufficiency. Standing also has been reported to support bowel and bladder function. Since standing fully opens the hip ankle, it supports the respiratory function. Prolonged sitting reduces the vital capacity of users. Frequently opening the hip angle positively influences the vital capacity and gives you the right position for a strong cough.
Standing also has shown to reduce the risk for skeletal deformities. Standing also supports users at the psychosocial level. A standing position facilitates peer-to-peer -peer conversations. Having better means for communication and interaction supports the self-esteem and self-awareness of users. Last but not least, standing also supports professional or educational participation. By improving the functionality and the reach for the upper extremity, it has also shown to be improving the functional independence and productivity of the users. Thank you for your participation in today's seminar. It was a great pleasure of having you. Hopefully we see you the next time as well.